Thanks for having me. Hopefully it works out a little better this time. Yes, yes. Uh, well, you can't do worse than what Isaac's Wi-Fi just did. Uh, so I don't know if you tuned in to Isaac and Calvin. They they had no idea what's going on. Do you have any idea what's going on this weekend? Uh, I tuned in a little bit at the end there. Uh, it was getting crazy. You guys were a little off the rails. But uh, no, uh, it's... We don't have a ton of information. I do know what yep. days we're doing certain um, parts of the competition. But other than that, I don't really know what time. Um, yeah. So I, I think I'm about in the same boat as both Isaac and Calvin. Are you down in Brooksville right now? Yep. yep. Got here last night. Played my first round this morning. Okay. And, and I'm assuming you guys are playing a different course layout than the MPO side? Yeah, I, I want to say uh, a majority of the holes for for the chess.com invitational, uh, we had a shorter basket. We play all the same tees, I believe, though. Um, and then for the um, for the all stars, I think we play a slightly different layout. There are two different lay layouts on UDisc, which is kind of funny. Um, so yeah, uh, I think it's a little different on both uh, for both occasions. Okay, I'm going to run through the teams here for those that don't know. Here are the teams we have. Owns team has Cat Merch, Hannah Bloomroos, Haley King, Jessica Weiss, Macy Valdez, and then Team Missy is going to be Holland Hanley, Katrina Allen, Sarah Hokum, Ella Hansen, and Ali Smith. How are you feeling with your team going into this weekend? Uh, I'm feeling great. And uh, apparently the other captain isn't here. So maybe she's more scared than I thought she was. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Uh, I, I actually absolutely not lying at all. I, I predicted every single pick that she picked in the wow. exact order that she picked it in. Wow. Um, I did. I did. Uh, so yeah, it kind of went exactly how I thought. And I'm, um, yeah, I was prepared and I knew who I wanted if, if I was right. And I was, so, um, yeah, did I you, feel really good. Did you, was it like a kind of a little, uh, sneaky pick to where you're like, Oh, interesting pick. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. You did that to try to like <laughs> showboat a little bit to be like, Oh yeah, please don't pick this neck. Did you kind of will her into those picks or did, was it just like, I picked this person. I picked this one. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. And then you're uh, like, yeah, I read you like a book. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I did let her know afterwards that I, I read her like a book, uh, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't try to like influence her, her picks at all. Oh, I just, come on. I just kind of had a plan and it yeah. ended up working out exactly uh, the way I thought. So, yeah. And how was the, um, when you guys were picking, was it fun? Was it a little back and forth? Um, how did that go? Yeah, it was fun. Um, you know, we, we both like kind of going back and forth and having that like friendly but competitive banter. I don't always catch everything that Owen says. She talks kind of fast, and then obviously, you know, it's it, she just yeah. I I I have a hard time sometimes uh, <laughs> hearing her, but I do know that she's uh, talking a little smack. So yeah, um, yeah, it's it's fun. Yuli brought up an interesting. Uh... Interesting, like potential change in the system of how the All Star event works. What are your thoughts on future <clears throat> players, like the captains, aren't people that are actually competing? So you would have maybe in this instance, you would have like let's you know let's throw out you would have like a Juliana Corver, and you know maybe maybe even like a Paige Pierce because she can't compete right now those two would be like the captains. Do you like that idea or do you like the fact that you're a captain and you're also competing? Um, I don't know. I mean, this is my first year being a captain. Um, I don't really know if it's going to, you know, affect me at all in any other, in any way. Um, you know, I do like how they do at the, uh, the president's cup at the European open, how it is the captain of the USA team and the European team are not playing in that event. It's kind of fun for them to walk around and watch and, you know, see how their team's doing. I'm not going to necessarily have all of that um, insight. I, I, I don't think, I think you guys are talking about how to, you know, how we're going to be able to keep track of scores. I'm not we don't sure. know. Calvin's <laughs> making a spreadsheet that he's going to send out the link to. That's what we got so far. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, I, yeah, I think it could be a really cool idea. I think that this all-star event is developing. Like we see this year, the skills competition isn't part of the team event. They're allowing, you know, we're going to have, uh, Eliezra and all, and a lot of other players here that aren't technically all-stars competing in the skills challenges. So we could see that sort of, you know, showcasing other people um, as well as the all-stars. So I think they're developing it as we go. Um, and yeah, I think any, I mean, I'm always up for different, trying different things, um, especially for a fun exhibition event like this, for sure. How did you end up deciding your doubles uh, matchups? Or I guess uh, you didn't do the matchups, but how did you, the doubles, like, how did you match up your doubles? Yeah. So again, like uh, it, it did kind of play out the way I thought it was going to. So I had an idea if I got the players that I did, then I kind of already knew who was going to play with whom, um, you know, I obviously you want to get, uh, you kind of want people to compliment one another. Um, so, you know, I don't throw super far. So I wanted to make sure that I was paired with somebody who does have, um, that extra distance and also has a strong forehand. Um, and so that was pretty easy. It could have been either Ella or, or Holland really. And, and at the end of that, at the end of the day, and then, um, you know, I, I honestly just wanted people to feel comfortable with, with one another too. So, you know, Sarah and Kat vibe, uh, Allie and Ella vibe, you know, and then Holland and I vibe as well. So, uh, yeah, I just kind of, it kind of all really worked out in terms of skill and also, you know, how people I think will play well together. Sure. I think that's a big thing in, in other uh, big events like this, like President's Cup or Ryder Cups or, or whatever, is making sure that you're meshing two personalities with each other that are, are mm -hmm. um, not going to kind of get in each other's way type thing. So yeah. there is a skill to that as as well. And it mm -hmm. sounds like that you kind of had all that planned out already. So that could be an advantage. We'll have to see. <laughs> I hope so. I mean, they're all like buddies on the, on Owen's team too. Uh, you know, but we'll, we'll see. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be good. I'm, I was, lit, I was going for, for skill, um, you know, and experience. Uh, like I said, Sarah Hokum. Well, I said during the, uh, the app that, you know, Sarah has played Throat, Throat on the Mountain a ton. Um, she won in 2021 there. Yeah, the layout's a little different, but the for the most part, a lot of the holes are very much the same um, that I've seen on coverage. So, yeah, there was, there was some strategy there, too. I wanted people that were also familiar with the course um and people that can stay in the fairway because this 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 course could really bite you with all of the whatever saw grass and all of that stuff you really got to keep it keep it in the middle yeah, yeah. Hmm. uh question does is a, is alexis mandahano on site because she was the one that i thought stole the show last year Damn. because yeah. she was the best putter not just in fpo but in the entire event the entire field so yeah. I saw that she wasn't an all-star this event. Mm -hmm. it, it would be a shame if she wasn't there competing in the putting. Yeah, I cannot imagine that she wasn't invited at the very okay. least. Um, especially because, again, they, they even highlighted her recently on social media um, mm -hmm. ju just about that. Um, you know, because I do know that they, they invited Paige for distance. She, she just kind of wasn't at that stage yet um, with the power. So, um you know, they definitely, I can't imagine they didn't send her an invite. So I just don't know if she's, if she's if, able if to she's make coming. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. How are you liking your chances? I guess now that the skills competition is like thrown out and it's just doubles and singles, I think it's a lot easier to kind of predict what's going to end up happening or you have a better sense, I guess, of what you think is going to happen. Do you like mm -hmm. how the matchups are right now? Doubles versus doubles against owns team. I think so. Yeah. Well, I, honestly, I, uh, I don't really know what the matchups are going. Yeah, to I don't be, think but... anyone really does. So <laughs> it's okay. We didn't get any information from the guys. So no, no problem um, there. Yeah, no, I, well, I do think though that from last year, I believe, you know, since I'm the highest, highest or whatever, the, the top seed on our team and then owns the top seed on her team. I assume it's like, our doubles team versus her 
the doubles team that she's on. So it's yeah, me, Owen and well. I versus Haley and, or sorry, yeah, uh, Haley and Owen versus Holland and I. So um, I think that's great. I think it's going to be uh, extremely fun, at least that particular card. Um, and I think that we both have just such a, both, both teams are just going to be really strong. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it'll be fun. Oh. How about how about the the time that you guys have had kind of off with the off season and then having mm-hmm. to come kind of straight back? Obviously, you better be ready because the next weekend we have the chess dot com. But it seems like kind of a long break from okay, these are the best players from last year, and now they're playing in twenty twenty four for the All Stars of twenty twenty three. Are you fine with that, or would you rather see it like you know? I made a suggestion of like halfway through each season that's when the all-stars are for the for that season you have the all-star and then it's you know the rest of the season and then you don't have to worry about it until the next year um yeah i think that it would be a a, it would be more fun to um well it's hard to say yeah i think i think that i don't want to extend the season longer right i was about to say doing it at the end of the year but i feel like that just kind of gets a little crazy um so maybe something like towards the the midway point of the current year would be a fun time. I know that they, you know, when they tried to do the match play, that seemed to be not a lot of people attended that event. Um, yeah. Could so have been I location too for that. It, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I think we had to like rush back from the, from the Pacific Northwest or something to get there, something like that. It was definitely a lot. Um, so maybe if the scheduling was done in a, you know, a logistically like you know good way yeah um more people would attend but i also think that it was kind of fun because i, I definitely kept my eyes on players on social media who was doing what um you know oh, i knew you that went that far i did yeah i take i take stuff seriously um <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so I knew, like, Holland was working on her course and obviously playing a lot just because she was, you know, working on her own course and then trying to make it really challenging for herself personally. Um, you know, and she, she, I know she was going to the gym because she was trying to drag my butt there uh, with her when she was visiting in November. Um yeah, so it, it was kind of fun to, you know, keep tabs on people yeah. and see who was doing who was keeping up. Nice. Well, we know uh we know you're going to have a very busy week trying to learn all the stuff that's going to be happening in the next couple of days. I guess you guys have media day tomorrow? <laughs> that's kind of yes, exciting. That I know for sure. 3 p.m. I will be there. <laughs> oh, there you go. 3 p.m. Yeah. Do you know if any of that is going to be broadcast or anything? Like is are they doing like a Q&A or Kind of, they had you guys, I think, last year. They do like the captains with like face off mm-hmm. and try like, is any of that stuff happening? No, I do. I well, no. So I don't. I don't believe that media day will be uh, broadcasted. I do think we are uh, having a press conference, um, much like we normally do. I don't know if it's going to be like a face off thing, uh, but I I do remember an email going out about a press conference okay. for all stars, and I I again that. I'm hoping that'll be live streamed, um, you know, depending on who subscribes to DGN, I guess uh, those are the people that will get that, will see get it. that, that yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Well, we wish you the best of luck, Missy. We do appreciate you taking the time to hop on here. Let us know how everything is going. And uh, yeah, just enjoy the week. Have fun. We will be watching for sure. Yeah, cool. congratulations yeah. on being the captain too and, yes. and your team and, and the rest of the All-Stars ma- making this weekend. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Of course. Take it easy, Missy. There you go. (laughs) Captain of the FPO. She was on the red team. I'm going to say red team. Red team there. Missy Gannon. Uh, Always appreciate having her pop on.